has additional functionality that allows you to create ground mount arrays. The first thing to note in PVCAD is that when you create your boundaries, you have the option of creating a ground mount outline specifically. In this case, I'm going to take a polyline and trace out my ground mount area. You'll see from our drop down list of object types, carport, ground mount outline, installationary, and obstruction are additionally listed underneath roof outline. In this instance, I'm going to define a ground mount outline. You can define a setback as well for ground mount outlines. You also have the option of defining installation areas. Installation areas are subsections of any ground mount outline. For instance, if you had a 2 megawatt project that you had two unique spaces that you wanted to put modules in, you could further subdivide the interior of your ground mount outline with installation areas. Once we've defined our ground mount outline and any installation areas we would like, which are optional, under mechanical layout we can also make layouts in terms of tables. Here I've defined my mounting system as ground mount, and in this case we'll be using user defined. Also selecting a specific module from our database of modules. Next we can define specific tables. In this rows by column section we'll change it from one by one to our table size. After we've defined a specific table, the spaces between individual modules are defined under module frame gaps. Our normal column and row spacing is now the spacing in between entire tables. Once I'm happy with my table size and my table spacing, I'll come down to the bottom and say Make Layout. In this instance, we have the same options of Fill or Click and Drag. In this instance, I will use Fill. When we fill using installation spaces, it will fill only that install area. You'll notice that each of the tables does have unique modules. If you want to change your table size, you can do so. In this instance, maybe I want shorter tables in this other installation area. Here I'm going to select click and drag. And now you can see I've created a design that has two different size tables. When working with tables, it's important to note that when you add panels, you'll actually be adding full tables. For example, I'm going to select one module here and click and drag, but it's actually placing tables, not individual modules. Similarly, if I click to select and delete an individual module, it will actually erase the entire table. To omit singular modules from a full table, select the modules you want to omit. Then in your PVCAD ribbon, select the button that says Omit Modules. Now you can see your entire table has remained but it's X'd out the modules you don't want to be included. When doing electrical design for ground mounts that use tables, you should definitely use string auto. Define your string length as the row length of each table. Because all of your tables are configured in rows of 15, all of your modules will be able to be automatically strung.
When we zoom in, we'll see that every single string is uniquely numbered. It's important to note that PVCAD has no cap on system size. This project we've created today is 6 megawatts. However, you'll notice that the larger your project gets, the longer processing time will take because it has to plot each individual module. We recommend if you're working on projects that are larger than 5 to 10 megawatts and or are using single axis trackers, we recommend you try out PVCAD Mega. This is our PVCAD specifically for single axis tracker and multi-megawatt layouts. Mm -hmm.